Today I will be building a server. It will be mainly used for hosting VMs and some file storage. Starting off, I have the Aorus B650 Elite board. It is AM5 socket. I have the AMD Ryzen 9 7900 processor. It has 12 cores and 24 threads and a TDP of 65 watts. The Aorus board does come with four SATA ports, but I will be adding on an additional SATA card. This has 10 SATA ports. It also has a one 2.5 gigabit LAN port, but I will be installing a dual card 10 gigabit. We also have 64 gigs of Corsair DDR5 memory. This is just to start with. I have some additional memory on the way. I'll be using a 500 gig Samsung SSD as my operating system. And to start with, five one terabyte SSD. We have two 80 mm exhaust fans and we have two 120 mm intake fans. I always use fan filters. This is to prevent and minimize as much dust getting into uh, the silver case as possible. We have a WD external drive. This is for system backups and just some LED lights. We'll be building in the Rosewell RSVR 4200U silver case and it has 11 drive bays. So yeah, let's just start building. Inside the Rosewell case, this is what you can see. Here is the drive bays, fans, and you get a couple motherboard screws and all this little manual. There's also this stabilizer bar here so that the case doesn't bend when you have that additional weight of all the hard drives. Double check now and see if I need to add on any additional standoff screws, which we did get in the case. Now I will remove the hard drive base so I can get to all of the fans and replace the stock fans with my B gears. So now that I've installed all of my fans, I'll move on to the motherboard. Now I'll install the memory. It is two to the two gig stick of DDR5. I'm gonna 
test and make sure that the system is posted before I install it into the server case. The memory is 4800. This memory can go up to 5600, so I will enable the XMP profile. So it did restart, and now we see the memory frequency is 5600. So all good. The Aorus board comes with this adapter. I went ahead and connected all of the case cables, like the power LED, hard drive, speakers, and it will be very simple now to just connect onto the motherboard. Fans 1 and 2 were connected on the motherboard, system fan 1, system fan 2, and then these two were connected on system fan 3 and 4. Uh, this is the Type-C USB cable, USB 3 port, that is for the front of the case, and oh yeah, and then I also connected the RGB header for the CPU fan. Now I'll install Windows Silver 2025. The installation was completed and so now it's just a setup phase.
window of 2025 is installed and on the right we, you can see the memory and processor and hard drive. 